This is Ajay for Tech Primus. In this video, we are going to see what is Spring Cloud. So Spring Cloud provides lots of tools for developers for quick, quickly building our application. So if you, let's say, if you're working on a distributed system environment and you want to build complex uh, application, and uh, if you have something which you can reuse across different microservices or different across components, then Spring Cloud Services helps in that, uh, in, in those places. So if you see here, these are the different components of Spring Cloud Services. So this is just a, a small set of what, what is there right now in Spring Cloud Services, but they, people are adding lots of more uh, stuff into Spring Cloud. So you, you might see more of these getting added, more of the functionalities or the common patterns which we can reuse. So for example, uh, configuration management. So how do we manage our configurations? So we can manage our configurations externally uh, into a Git repo. So our, uh, or a version configuration, so any version of configuration uh, management system. So Spring Cloud provides uh, capabilities for that. Same way for uh, service discovery. So how do we want to um, discover our microservices in the in the platform? So there are different uh, ways to do that. So you you can use Eureka, Zookeeper. Uh, there is something called Cloud for, uh, for the Cloud Foundry as well. Uh, same way the circuit breaker pattern. So for circuit breaker, uh, Spring Cloud provides Hystrix. So Netflix has created Hystrix. So same way, um, Spring Cloud integrates that as well. Uh, for routing, we uh, we can use Zool. So Spring Cloud uses Zool to uh, do intelligent routing across microservices. The next one would be the micro proxy. Same way, Zool can um, act as a proxy and then uh, route our applications uh, based on the proxy URL which you have configured. Same way for distributed uh, session, there is a, there is a Spring Cloud sleuth which, which uh, internally uses the components like Zipkin, Htrace and Elk for the um, for the logs and stuff like that. Uh, same way for cluster state, uh, Apache Kafka and uh, RabbitMQ is provided uh, by the Spring Cloud bus. So finally for the re leadership selection, the Hazelcast, Consue, Redis and Zookeepers are used for the Spring Cloud clusters. So what internally Spring Cloud does is it's going to remove all our boilerplate code. So we are going to follow a declarative approach for writing our application. So we don't have to rewrite uh, stuff again and again. So if let's say in our uh, in, in different microservices, we have different external configurations. So we can, we can reuse uh, the configuration management provided by Spring Cloud you know, across these uh, with very minimal code. So you can use annotations to uh, do that. Same way for disk service discovery. So you don't have to um, uh, write lots of code to register your app, uh, find your app, stuff like that. So it, you, it is all done at the annotation level. So you add an annotation and Spring takes care of that out of the box. Same way for uh, circuit breakers and all other functionalities. So uh, Spring Cloud is going to reduce these boilerplate code so that you can write very, very uh, less code and then make sure that your application is reusing the uh, common patterns across microservices. Because when you start writing um, a distributed system, right? So you, when you have lots of microservices, uh, then you will you will find it difficult to reuse the same components across these microservices. So that is where Spring Cloud uh, helps us in um, solving that problem. So that's it for this video. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you.